Hey guys, Amit here for Just EV and we have got a very interesting news which is coming from Hyundai and Kia who have confirmed that they would be launching six electric cars by 2024 in India. As of now, the Hyundai Kona Electric is the only EV available in India and since it is sold in India as a CKD unit, it is costlier when compared with the pricing in different countries. Based on a report, the Hyundai and Kia will continue with the CKD and CBU units uh, by selling them in India. Now, the most awaited Kona electric facelift is expected to launch in India in 2022 and will also be a CKD unit. However, Kia is also bringing the much more advanced Kia EV6 in the same year, while the Hyundai will be launching Ionic 5 as a CBU unit in 2023, Kia will be launching their affordable e Nero as a same CKD unit in the same year. Now, just like the Kia Seltos and the Hyundai Creta, both the Kia EV6 and the Hyundai Ionic 5 will be sharing the same platform. The same will be applying to the Kia e Nero and the Hyundai Kona electric cars. Now, it's quite exciting to see that we are looking forward to some very interesting models in terms of electric cars in India from both of these brands, that's Kia and Hyundai. The Kia EV6 and the Hyundai Ioniq 5 will also be based on company's first ever dedicated platform to EVs, which is called as the eGMP, which means electric global modular platform. Compared to the Kona electric or the e-Nero, these ground up electric cars will have several benefits like efficient aerodynamics structure and a denser battery pack. The base variants of the Kia EV6 and the Hyundai Ioniq 5 comes with two wheel drive setup featuring 58 kilowatt hour battery pack offering certified range of 370 kilometers. Though they also have a long range model which has a 72.6 kilowatt hour battery pack that offers a certified range of 481 kilometer. While the two wheel drive will go from a 0 to 100 kilometer per hour speed in just 8.5 seconds it drops to 5.2 seconds when you go for the all-wheel drive since these are based on the eGMP platform both models support high speed 800 watt charging capability it will allow the car with the 72.6 kilowatt hour battery pack to charge from 0 to 80 percent in just 18 minutes using a 350 kilowatt hour rapid charger well just for a comparison the fast charging capability on the mg ZS ev and the tata nexon ev is limited to just 50 kilowatt and 25 kilowatt however both hyundai and kia have already started working on a made in india electric car which would be launching in 2024 since these will be locally manufactured the pricing will be definitely very competitive when compared to the other models which are being imported and to keep the cost of these evs under made in india these uh, cars are expected to launch under a price point of 15 lakh rupee though they might be coming with a smaller battery pack at 200 to 250 kilometers range again these are some very interesting announcements coming or you can say expectations from hyundai and kia in the electric segment where we can look forward to some very interesting evs in the Indian market. If you think this video is useful to you, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and share subscribe to Just TV English for more videos in EVs. I am Amit and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.